So let's talk about Cobra Commander issue number one in his very own comic from Sky Brown through Image Comics written by Joshua Williamson. Um, this is uh, part of the Energon universe that they're creating. They have a Transformers ongoing comic line. Um, they now have a Duke line and they have Cobra Commander and it all kind of centers around um, Transformers basically. So I'll see how G.I. Joe and Cobra come into their own in these series. Uh, but for now, uh, this is Cobra Commander issue one. Um, this was, it's cool. I, I, I think my problem is that I, I don't fully, I didn't fully understand what was going on with the Energon universe because I know that Skybound took the Hasbro stuff. I don't know if it's a Hasbro master license or what's going on, but, um, but they do uh, continue the publishing of G.I. Joe, continuing the um, numbering from the very beginning of the Marvel comics, which was uh, um, uh, continued in IDW and now it's in Skybound um, and other stuff. So like the thing is that that one is the Larry Hama comic and um, this is part of another universe, I think. It's not part of that G.I. Joe line, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is about the beginnings of, of Cobra. Um, and I say this because um, I'll just I'll just give this away. Uh, in this comic, there is a lot of Cobra law. And that's what sort of threw me. It's like, it's cool that they have like these classic... I like G.I. Joe the movie. It's cool that they have all these classic designs and stuff. Um, from the Sunbow uh, G.I. Joe continuity. Uh, but this is making its own thing. Uh, they imply that Cobra Commander was in the outside world, our world, and was taken in by Cobra Law. And he's experimenting and making all these blasphemous experiments and stuff. And he wants to go out into the world and prove that he can uh, conquer it for Galobulus. Um, and so that's why he's out in the world now. Uh, with that mask, they, they um, explain that mask. They have a whole story about how that mask comes to be. Um, so there you have it. it it's, it's pretty neat, pretty, um, pretty action-packed when it, when it has to be. Um, Code Commander, they're establishing him more as a badass rather than the cowardly, funny buffoon from the cartoons. Um, in the comic books, there was no science fiction element and stuff like that here, like no Cobra Law, really. It was... Um, in the original comics, and that, that's why I'm sort of like, I, I guess G.I. Joe, it, um, the one that they're publishing now, is a different universe, different continuity, and that I thought that harkens back to the original comics, and the original comics, Cobra Commander was a used car salesman who was disillusioned with the American dream and mobilizes people um, uh, against the system. That's, that's as uh, delicately as I can put it. Um, but yeah, he's a person, and he's not like a guy with eight eyes or whatever, or like comes from um, a weird science fiction uh, uh, place in the Antarctic or something like that. Um, there was a different Cobra Commander. So I like this. I'll see where this goes. Um, it's cool to see like the Sunbow stuff in there. It's cool to see that. It is. Um, it's cool. So um, I like this. Uh, for anyone who enjoyed the old cartoons and stuff, um, rather than the comics, I'd recommend this. Uh, um, if you're a fan of the comics, you might get taken aback by all the Sunbow stuff that they're throwing in here. Um, but I think they're, this this comic, um, I think Duke as well, uh, and, and especially Transformers, are made with a lot of love from my generation. Um, and what we remember and loved of, of these franchises and, and the Hasbro franchises. So, um, so yeah, uh, Code Commander issue one, pretty neat. Um, I'd give it a gander if, if, if you like um, the old uh, Hasbro toy lines of, of, of the 80s. Uh, so till next time, take care.